What is up YouTube, Reed here and in this tutorial I'm going to be showing you a few transition effects and I hope this helps so wait, am I even recording? yes? okay so first of all you want to go to step sequencer channels add one um, on axis for now and let's go with a pad for now not 100% I hate all these pad sounds so I might have to go through them I think we'll start with that. So, um, just as an example, so what? Okay, so. Okay, so we have our little um, example here. Now what we need to do is make a transition. So what you want to do is assign it to a free mixer track. And the first transition I'm going to show you is when I find quite effective what you're going to want to do here so if you'll notice if you raise the 4 here how different it sounds and if I fiddle with the angle here and um, which corner it is it sounds different as well, I'll show you that too So what I like to do is simply put the 4 here, drag the 4 all the way to the top, <coughs> put it on this section, this side here on the left side, so you get a really, really deep sound to it. Oh wait, let's, actually we'll try it. Now we'll try it this side for now. Um, Okay, so as you can see as I'm moving this, this little dial here is turning. What you want to do is right click this dial, create automation clip, and just slam it to the top. So, let's hear that, how that sounds. You could have it slower. it builds. So I find that a quite a nice transition effect if um, you're sweeping into a different, like maybe if you have a lead in the background fading in. hear that again without just so you can hear the differences as you can tell it's got a bit of a rise to it so and um, that's what you want you want the transition effects to, to rise or to fade into uh, either to fade and to rise into something else or to fade into something else so um, right the next way you can do it is to the same way use parametric EQ um, select presets go to 40 hertz cut 
and we're going to be affecting this frequency band here so you want to right click this again create an automation clip and you want to drag this upwards so we'll do it and we'll put the tension to about 15 As you can tell there, it cuts off quite early, so it's wise to drop it down, I don't know, to about 80, or to ex just experiment, obviously if if you want it to fade like this, but to still have the volume, then you want to keep it low, but if you want it high and still have the volume, you, you can just, um, wait, I'll sh let's see. You can you can you can hear a dip there, which sometimes you don't want that. You want the opposite. So um, what you want to do there is right-click on the volume knob to your automation and just like say the point here where it starts to change a lot. Let's see. make a slight difference and it still dips so if if you want to increase the volume further you can you can actually make an automation clip of this volume control here and say boost that around the same area but obviously there's a lot of gap here so we won't boost this one too high I'll say 75 maybe. There you go, if you want to actually crank it up and make it... There you go, this, <laughs> this is how it sounds. Increasing to maximum volume. Okay, and, and the same applies for um, fade-ins. You just change this structure here. Let's get rid of that because we don't need that. Um, this is the parametric EQ frequency, the, the band here that we changed. You want to actually put it to, let's put it to 80 this side. Decrease the volume here. And I don't know, shall I? Yeah, I think I will actually increase the volume this side. Uh, and you'll see now it should fade inwards. You can have a slower fade as well if you want. If you Increase the tension here. Okay, so that's um, that's it for transitions, and um, I hope this tutorial helped. Thank you for watching. Please rate, comment, and subscribe for more tutorials. Bye.